Welcome back to Barbecue and Bottles. I'm Jared and today we are gonna be making candied salmon out here on the smoker with a maple glaze. This is absolutely one of my favorite ways to make salmon. Reminds me of the trip that we took out west to northern Vancouver Island going salmon fishing. We've got some fresh sashimi grade salmon from our local fishmonger. We're gonna take you through the recipe. So if you're into that kind of thing, stick with us. So the first step is just making the brine. So we already have two cups of water in here and we're adding another two cups. Then we're going in with a cup of real maple syrup. I don't want you to use any Aunt Jemima stuff here. Go for the real thing. Then it's a half a cup of brown sugar. And remember when you're measuring brown sugar, it's measured while it's packed. So just pack that down. Looks like we've got half a cup there. Then we'll go in with a cup worth of kosher salt. So now we'll just mix this together and this is gonna be the brine. And we're gonna brine our salmon for at least 12 hours, ideally overnight up to a full day. And that's just gonna infuse some of these flavors and these sugars into the salmon. So again, we just gotta get this mixed around Make sure you get all that salt and brown sugar dissolved into the brine. So now that we got that brine mixed up, now we gotta take care of our salmon. So again, we've got a fresh salmon that we just got from our local fishmonger. It's sashimi grade. We actually got it with the skin still on here, as you can see, and in retrospect, we should have had that taken off. So what we're gonna do, we've just got our fillet knife. We're just gonna come in here and fillet this away. So to do that, you want a fillet knife like this that's nice and flexible. You just get this between the skin and the actual flesh of the salmon and just pull through. Again, it's a lot easier if you ask your fishmonger to do this, they're pros. It'll be so much easier than you trying to struggle and do this at home, but it's not the end of the world if you forgot. This is not how you're supposed to do it, <laughs> but it's the method that I'm using right now and we're just gonna get this done. So now that we've got that filleted up, we're just gonna cut this into three equal parts. And I should have mentioned that we got a two pound fillet here. So that's how much salmon we're working with. So once you've got these in three equal parts, you're just gonna now cut them lengthwise. This fish is so delicate, you wanna make sure it's not falling apart. So you want pieces that are about that big so that's maybe an inch by three quarters of an inch wide, and that's about three inches in length. So once you got those cut up, just drop them into the brine. So we'll get those all into the brine mixture here. Look at that perfect size container. Got our brine right to the top. So we're just gonna get the lid on here and then we're gonna carefully put this into the fridge so that we don't get any leaks. And then we'll see you back here tomorrow. And again, you wanna brine this for at least 12 hours, ideally up to a full day. So when you put this in the fridge, ideally put it on a cooking sheet in case you do have any juices spill, it doesn't leak throughout your fridge. So the next day, you're gonna wanna remove this from the fridge and then rinse off all of the salmon under cold water just to remove the brine from the actual protein. Now what we'd suggest just to make sure that this is the right level of saltiness for you is just slice off a small little piece, fry it in a pan and taste test that. See if it's too salty or see if it's to your liking. So once you've got this rinsed off, you're gonna pat that dry with a paper towel and you're gonna get it back in the fridge on a cooling rack for at least two hours to allow the pellicle to form. And that pellicle is a sticky surface that's going to form on the exterior of the fish. And when it goes into the smoker, that's really gonna help the smoke adhere to the fish. So now preheat your smoker to 170 Fahrenheit and then get this in there. We're using apple wood for a little extra hint of sweetness here along with the maple syrup and you're gonna to wanna to run your smoker for somewhere between five to six hours. 
and every 30 minutes, you're gonna wanna base this with maple syrup. Once you've got this to your desired doneness, pull it out, let these cool down, and it's best when they're served either room temperature or chilled. And before you serve them, you might wanna brush them one last time with a little bit of maple syrup. So we've just taken these off the grill. We've let them cool down a little bit, and just look at these. This smells incredible. These are super sticky. Again, we've been basting these every 20 or 30 minutes with maple syrup. So these have really had a chance to candy up, get nice and super sticky and tacky. So I just wanna show you here, like look at that. This is unbelievable color. We went from that really light pink salmon fatty color to this really rich, dark, smoky maple syrup infused color. These are gonna be absolutely incredible. But before we do the taste test, we've got one last step and that is one more dose of maple syrup. So we're gonna go in here with our little brush. Now we've cleaned this brush from when we were using it over the raw salmon, but we're just gonna go in here lightly with a little final brush of maple syrup for some sweetness. Wow, you can really smell the apple wood that we used on this cook. It smells incredible. And we ran the full six hours on this cook and that's you know, we, we went with chunkier size pieces of salmon in that three quarters to one inch thick size. So I think that's why we were on that, that six hour mark. So I'm gonna pick up one of these again and I wanna show you just how flaky and tender these are. Like, look at that, it's still juicy on the inside. That really nice light pink salmon color here. This is just beautiful. Look at that. Again, really nice and juicy and tender just flakes apart like that I and mean, come on it's like we just hot smoke the salmon mm. I mean this is hands down one of my favorite ways to prep salmon that sweetness that you're getting not just from the maple syrup but the brown sugar as well like if you're a fan of sweet barbecue like messy sloppy ribs with a bunch of barbecue sauce on them because you like that sweetness you should really try this salmon that is so good so today's video from the community is from Christina Rios, where she sent us in this video of a beautiful New York strip that she's basting with butter, garlic, rosemary, looks textbook. She's clearly following one of our steak experiment videos here. So kudos to you, Christina, for knocking one out of the park. We love seeing the final product of people in this community trying some of the recipes on our channel. So if you end up using one of our recipes and you wanna share it with the community here, feel free to send us an email to barbecueandbottles at gmail.com or send us a DM on Instagram at barbecueandbottles over on that platform. So that's all we've got for you today. Thanks for tuning in. If you really enjoyed this video, consider hitting that like button, consider subscribing to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one.